Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Emma from Coolabar Dance and today I'm here with Ricky. So this is part two. So Ricky's from Skin Forum and she's gonna be chatting to us about wedding prep and what you can do in the lead up to your wedding day. What treatments would you recommend, Ricky? Uh, so the most popular wedding prep treatments that we provide would be um, our skin needling. So this is basically um, using a handheld device to create micro wounds in the skin to stimulate the body's wound healing response to stimulate new collagen and elastin. Um, so we can do one of those treatments per month and we'd ultimately like to fit at least three in before a wedding. So three months would be a good time to sort of allow for that treatment. Yeah. Um, epiblading facial is another treatment that's really popular for our brides, especially as their last treatment before the wedding. Epiblading basically takes off the fine downy hairs as well as all of the dry dead skin cells. So it reveals um, dewy and healthy looking okay. skin and it gives the makeup artists a really nice palette to work with. Okay. So. Um, they, it's probably our most popular wedding facial that we have on the menu. And what about the other treatments that you'd recommend? Um, so probably our most popular, um, injectables treatments leading up to the wedding would be anti-wrinkle and then also lip filler. Um, yeah. we have a lot of brides that come in and get anti-wrinkle injections leading up to the wedding. This just helps to smooth out the skin. Um, so fine lines along the forehead, crow's feet and the frown lines. Um, and then our dermal fillers, we can treat basically anywhere in the face, but lip filler would probably be the most popular leading up to a wedding. And the skin kneeling. So what exactly does that do for the skin? So with the skin needling, you will get a, a lot of new collagen elastin. So basically skin tightening, um, your skin will be a lot more dewy, um, a lot healthier. You can have some um, pigmentation fade down, decongesting um, underlying congestion, blackheads, breakouts, that type of thing. And so what would the lip filler do? Like how would that change a bride? appearance um, so on her wedding day lip filler would probably just give them more confidence on their wedding day um a lot of our clients that come in i wouldn't say they need lip filler um they just like to have something done leading up to their wedding that makes them feel nice and then what about what would be the benefits of the other injectables either for like the forehead so how will their appearance change it would just be smoothing the skin so anywhere where you can see fine lines around the, the upper half of the face we can smooth those down by doing anti-wrinkle injections um, yeah. so it, again it just makes them feel more comfortable probably in front of the camera and um, while they're on show on their wedding day yeah and so just more of a youthful mm -hmm. overall appearance. yeah just a little bit younger and fresher yeah. yeah and you said the other treatments as well can help with the skin the glowing yeah, yeah so the collagen stimulating treatments you'll always have much healthier glowier looking skin so um, we have multiple treatments in clinic that will stimulate collagen but i would say skin needling is our most popular one and then you mentioned chemical peels as well can be really helpful yeah so chemical peels um, they will help to resurface the skin as well so removing that dead layer of skin um, that might be dull or damaged from the sun or the elements so um, removing that top layer of dead skin to allow that fresh skin to come through um, we can also treat specific skin concerns with chemical peels um, so we can treat underlying congestion and acne we can treat pigmentation um, just an anti-aging peel so there's mm -hmm. lots of different types of peels that we have in clinic and we can target specific skin concerns okay yeah so that's good to know they can just like improve everything so yes yeah pretty much we can we've got a treatment for everything <laughs> and what would you say with the brides when they come and what's their aim with what they're looking for in their skin i think the majority of brides just want to look fresher on their wedding yeah. day so um they don't necessarily want to look different they just want to look slightly fresher and more youthful yeah i think because on a wedding day it's the day you're gonna you know be photographed and you want everything to look perfect and yeah. you're gonna have these photos to like memories exactly. to last and there's a lot of money and time that's gone into a wedding so i think skin kind of gets put in there or it should get put in there like the dress or the nails yeah. or the you know part yeah. of the prep so what about the timeline of these procedures and treatments so with injectables we would recommend that the patient comes in um, many months before their wedding day and yeah. trials these treatments rather than yeah. having them 
just before their wedding day because you have to allow for swelling, for bruising. Potentially, if the patient doesn't like their results, if they've yeah. never had fillers before, they might not like the look of them. Um, I haven't actually had anyone that hasn't loved their results yet, but <laughs> I just don't think anyone should be trying anything just before their wedding yeah. day. Um, so for injectables, I would recommend coming in probably six months before their wedding yeah. day, having a consultation with one of the nurses, um, and we can run through a bit of a timeline with them. Yeah. Um, skin needling, there is a bit of downtime with that. You will have redness straight afterwards, a yeah. bit of dry skin. So you would probably want to have at least three weeks before your wedding day yeah. um, to heal for that. Yeah. Um, the epiblading facial that we discussed like I said, that's probably the last treatment you have prior to your wedding day. So that's yeah. your, your last freshen up treatment. Um, yeah. That can be done probably about a week before your wedding. Um, with a chemical peel, I would allow at least sort of three weeks for the downtime. Your skin can purge a little bit, so you can find that you'll get some breakouts after having yeah, a chemical okay. peel. And your skin can be dry as well, and you can actually have peeling skin for a yeah. while. So. Um, I definitely wouldn't be doing that in the month leading up to the wedding. That's something yeah. that I would say a month or more prior. Yeah, okay. So you need a bit of downtime between the treatments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With a lot of the treatments that we provide, there is some um, period of time where your skin doesn't look its best okay. yeah. um, before the results start to show through. Yeah, I think that's really good to know. So, yeah. <laughs> Especially with um, actually in the lead up to weddings, there's actually so many events, you know, you've got... Um, your bridal shower, your hen's party. Yeah. So you want to try and fit everything in, like your skin to look the best yeah. and kind of plan it with your treatment yeah. and everything like that. Yeah, so. I think it's good to come in and have a consultation with us. Give us your important dates and yeah. we can work in with your dates rather than you try and make the judgment on when you should be having treatments. Yeah. Yeah, I think listen to the experts. I think yeah. with any wedding vendor that you work with, you know, whether it's a photographer, florist, always take on their advice. Yeah, I think so. so. They've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope this has all helped with your wedding skin prep. So thank you, Ricky. She's also offering our viewers a special offer. So we'll link that below. Leave us any comments or questions you've got. Uh, and myself and Ricky will get back to you. Thank you.